Hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Monique and I'm on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for the generations to come. I want to do that through consistency and discipline. Today, we are here to do a budget with me and it is for the paycheck that I will receive on this coming Friday, February the 23rd. And it goes from that day through March 7th. I am a bi-weekly paycheck budgeter. And um, I also handle my variable expenses basically the same way. So with that said, I'd like to thank everybody who's liked or commented on any of my videos and especially those that have subscribed to my channel. I truly started this as a way to hold myself accountable, but I do understand, recognize and appreciate the community as a whole. We've got similar goals. We just got different ways of getting there. And so if you're rocking with me on my journey, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't made up your mind yet, just sit with me for a spell, see how you're feeling. And if you want, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I am going to first look at my digital budget for... February, and then we will go to the monthly view that I also have set up as well. All right, so I'm going to come in just a tad bit. There you go. And this is going to be for paycheck I receive on the 23rd. There you go, right there. And it will go for the remainder of February to cover um, the last couple of weeks. And then it's also going to go into March, as I mentioned before. So it's going to hit up against the March 1st through March the 7th as well. So there are a couple of things that you might notice, especially on this particular page. Number one, um, property insurance is listed here. Um, and that fee has already been covered. So Property insurance is due on the 4th of March. I already received the bill and I've saved up in my sinking fund the amount that I needed, which was $160. So instead of waiting, I just went ahead and took care of that cost. So I will need to check this off because it is already taken care of. Let's go to black. And then you'll notice that I scratched out GoDaddy and bank fee. So bank fee was something that I was getting charged about $6 on my savings account. Uh, but for the last two months, I've not been charged that amount. And I believe it is because I set up a direct um, transfer from my checking account into my savings account every week. It's just a little bit like $5, but it was enough to... Um, cancel out this bank fee. So I went ahead and scratched it out here and you probably won't see it going forward. You'll also notice that I have GoDaddy scratched out as well. So I have two web domains through GoDaddy that both lead to my Etsy page um, where I sell my own jewelry, um, Family of Gems. And what I've decided to do is to remove one and to keep the other one. So I'm going to remove this one that's due in March. And that's why you see it scratched out. And I also need to take care of that on my February calendar, which we will talk about in a minute. Well, maybe right now. All right. So I'm going to sit this over to the side. As you guys know, I do a... Where is it? I do a um, monthly view and a calendar and I draw it out for each month. I did it for February, let's say that way. I did it for February. Come out slowly so I can get to a good um, view there. So I did it for Feb February, loved it, already did one for March and because that February 23rd check is leading into March. So I had to make sure I had things documented for that. So water and trash still have not cleared. Now I paid it on the 9th. It was due on the 15th. I paid it on the 9th thinking that it would have cleared by the 15th. Here it is the 20th. So I'm recording this on Tuesday. I get paid on Friday. I'm recording it on Tuesday. I'll probably load it on Wednesday. Um, and it still hasn't cleared yet. So that's why you don't see those highlighted just yet. Money is there, just waiting for it to be taken out. Um, Spotify cleared, Coles and Bit Bridgecrest, which is my car note. Green Sky is still left, and that's why that one is not checked off. Um, I covered already that my um, car insurance was going up by $15.53 additionally. So that's an additional uh, $15.53 that would be deducted from my paycheck before I even get it. But I had enough money in my variable expense 
um, that was coming over to my variable expense account every paycheck period where I can absorb this and still give myself the $500 that I like to have to spend for that two week period. So I'm okay on that. And then Xerxes was supposed to go to the groomers um, today, but the um, his groomer called. She's not feeling well, so she rescheduled for next Wednesday. So that's why you see that moved here. And then the last thing is GoDaddy. You'll notice I've already crossed that out. So I, I was going to keep that GoDaddy and I changed my mind on that and on that bank fee. So both of those have been crossed out here. And then I'm already, and I won't go over this a lot because I'm doing a separate video on this one. I'm, I'm not finished just yet, but for March, I've already started to document it out. Since March 1st through the 7th fall under the February 23rd paycheck responsibility, I'm just going to cover those pieces. So I have all of my things that happen on the 1st, which is a lot already documented here. My nail net and my Paramount, all of those you will see on my budget that we're about to do. Uh, property insurance is already here and it's marked off. It's already covered as far as the cost is concerned. So you'll see it on my budget. You'll see it in gray though, because I don't have to worry about taking any money from my paycheck to take care of it because the sinking fund already did. All right. So that is it for that. Now let us come on back over here to the budget, the budget. Scoot on over to February and let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to come back in a little bit. In, Monique, in. All right, there you go. And let's get started. So for income, I anticipate having $1,175 deposited into my bills account, $500 deposited into my variable expense account. On the last paycheck period, I anticipated having $29 available as my under budget amount. Um, now, this paycheck period hasn't cleared. I'm still waiting on a few things to come out. And once those come out, I'll do a paycheck budget closeout. But I anticipated having $30 available. And so that's what I rolled over. And remember, this is the expected amount. So I am rolling over that $30. It's at $29. I have a little play in the, in, in the account. So I'm just bumping that up to $30, okay? So that's that 30. And then property seeking fund, we just talked about that. It's highlighted, which means it's already been completed. Kim is anticipating giving me $150, which is what she typically does, but she has been getting more hours. And if she made full-time for a full paycheck period time frame, then she'll bump this up from $150 to probably around $200. If that's the case and she gives me an extra $50, that will go towards seeking funds because I need to buff, beef up, sorry, my um, property insurance again. It'll be due again in April. And Xerxes um, sinking fund because he is going to be boarded for three days while I volunteer for the um, elections. So if I get anything extra, that's where it will go. Micah gave me $40 for his cell phone and that gave me that in cash. Um, and rollover for cash envelopes. So on week one, variable expense rollover for my current paycheck period, I had $70. And you would see that on my weekly budget check-in that I did for uh, last week. And so out of that 70, I took 30 and put it into my cash wallet envelope in my um Mo term. And so that's why it's great out here. It, it's not, I'm not going to do anything with that money as a part of this budget or in any of these savings challenges that's already been accounted for in my wallet. It's taken care of and that's why it's great out. But I did take $40 and put it in my cash jar for me to use for savings challenges for this pay paycheck period. And that's why it's in black. That one will be counted. So when you see anything in gray, that's just me accounting for the money because I don't need to lose track of the fact that I have it, but I gray it out because it's you're not going to see that money um, in cash in a savings challenge or being spent on a bill or whatever the case may be. All right. So there you go. 
Let us see how much this is. 1175, 500. We go on this side so that it's not shake. Maybe that'll stop it from shaking so much. I think that helps. Maybe a little bit. Maybe not. 150, 40, 40. That is 1935. Nope. All righty. Living next is living expenses. So I typically give myself $250 every week and since i'm a bi bi weekly paycheck budgeter i have two weeks worth of living expenses to cover for i split that up in half i have 500 dollars going into that account split it in half so that gives me 250 dollars every week um i'm not anticipating now or expecting now to have any rollover i usually do and i usually use it for savings challenges for that next week uh, and so I would anticipate that that's what's going to happen again, but I'm not going to put it here as a budgeted amount that I will have available. I'm just sticking with the two $250 amounts. And so that's going to be 500. All right, next, I'll start here. <clears throat> so bills and subscriptions, these are all of the bills that I have to cover. You, these are the ones that you just saw on the digital monthly view and on the um, paper copy monthly view as well. So OneDrive, Gas South, Apple Care, and Xerxes Groom are all things that I need to cover at the end of February. And then um, at the beginning of February, electric, home, um, insurance, ring, Nelnet, and go daddy. Let me make mortgage too. Did I say mortgage? I should have mortgage, electric, AHS, and ring. Those are always the typical four. And then I have Nelnet for my student loans, no bank fee, no go daddy. And then I am missing one paramount. And this is why you cover your bills and you do a, a budget with me. So let me write that in. You guys, forgive me for one second. I'm going to move some stuff around a little bit. And let's move all this stuff down. And then let's add Paramount. Now make it all cute and pretty another time. And that is the six two, I think, and that's twelve dollars. All right, there you go. Let's come in a little bit. Okay, all right. Um, also, I'll I'll cover really quickly. Ties, pet insurance, car insurance. You'll always see a dash for those. That's because they are automatically deduct deducted before I um document the amounts that I I just covered as far as my income is concerned. And then I have a box here for unplanned. I had a lot of unplanned expenses um, in the last paycheck period. So I thought, you know what, let's just make a little section for unplanned just in case. Of course, I'm not expecting to have anything that will um, come out that's unplanned, but you never know. So I'm just going to draw a line because I don't expect anything, but who knows. And then property insurance, like I mentioned before, it's grayed out because I have a sinking fund for that. All right, so let's see what we got. Two plus one oh two four seven one five one twenty three forty four ten eighty two fifty twelve. All right, that is one thousand one hundred and forty four. Let me try that one more time just to be sure. Two plus one oh two four. 715-44-123. I should have left well enough alone for 715. I get so aggravated with myself. All right. 10, 82, 50, 12. 1,144. All right. There you go. Next, savings. So the way that I handle my savings is... 
And I'm going to come out and try and have both of these in screen at the same time. Hopefully it's not too bad and you can read it. I'm going to go in just a little, see if I can go in just a tad bit so you can see a little bit better. There you go. All right. So this is the way that I handle um, my savings. It's all dependent upon what we're able to squirrel away as far as these other funds are concerned. So roll, roll over savings. Week one, I save $40. That $40 I put aside for my family savings binder. Micah's cell phone, $40. He gave that to me in cash. I have that in my jar and I'm going to use that towards savings challenges right here. That line item. Okay. Um, Roll over from the bank, $30. It's in cash. I went ahead and took it out of the bills buffer account. And that's this $30 right here. Okay. And then Kim is supposed to give me $150 for her rent. And that breaks out here, $110 for high priority and then $40 for low priority. And that equals your 150. Now, some of you might say, well, Monique, when did you get a high priority binder and a low priority binder? Well, let me tell you. So last Friday, before I got ready to leave, from um, from here to go home to South Carolina to visit family. I decided to wash clothes, went in and washed clothes. All of a sudden, the water is coming out of the, the washing machi machine. You know, it's doing the spinning or whatever. And so the spin cycle and the water, you know, is draining out. I all of a sudden get a burst of water coming out of my kitchen sink, bubbly water coming out of my kitchen sink. And it freaked me out. So I um, contacted a plumber, plumbing service. I figured I needed to get my septic tank drained. Um, I have to do that periodically. Yes, I'm, I live in the country and we have to get our septic tanks uh, cleaned out sometimes. I use Ridex, all of that good stuff. Don't need any advice when it comes to that part. Uh, but um, when he, when he called me back to schedule the appointment and they said they could go ahead and come out that day and it wasn't going to be an emergency appointment, but he was, he was good to come out. He said on the low end, it's going to be $475 on the high end. It's going to be 670 if we get in there and we find a problem. Well, they got in, they started to dig, they got straight to the septic tank. And when they opened it up, there was just a big clog clunk there of like grease and other stuff. And so luckily they did not have to drain the septic tank. They just took care of the clog, ran the snake in there, poured some enzymes down into the septic tank. I say that to say, although I did not have to worry about covering that expensive cost initially, it got me to thinking, Aren't, there are some things that I do need to worry about. So these are the uh, sinking funds that you all are used to seeing, okay? Those are the ones, the main ones that I've always um, taken care of because those are the ones that I see the most often. I have that money in my Ally account. Those are still going to be a concern or a need of mine. And I would consider those to be high priority because these are things that come up quite often that I need to take care of. But I started to think through Hey, I don't have septic tank getting it pumped on here and trying to come up with or absorb within my um, budget a $670 cost would be very difficult. And I do not want to have to use my emergency fund to cover that type of cost. And so I decided to make these that I'm always giving to my high priority. They will continue to remain cash less. I will deposit that money into the Ally account and I will use prop money to have a manual um, audit or an accounting of what I'm contributing to. But I do now have low priority and here are the low priority categories that I have. Now I have, I ordered a binder, found one cheap on Amazon and I'm gonna make do with whatever stickers I already have to show my low priority. These I am going to keep in cash. So I don't know if you can tell, don't know how well this video is, but um, this amount for my high priority, you notice the $110, it's in gray. That's because it's online. I need to account for it, but I'm not going to have cash for it. So that's why it's in gray because I didn't have to worry about having the, the physical money in my pocket. 
Um, for my low priority though, you'll notice that this is all in black and the amount is in black because I am going to keep cash for these. And it's just a little bit of money here and there as I can give it. If I do not have it to give, I won't give to it. Um, but here are the ones that I could think of that I would need to start or establish a low priority binder for. Of course, the septic pump that we just talked about. Um, as two of my savings goals for 2024, I had fence renovation and I had land clearing. And so I figure instead of waiting until my 25% paycheck reduction is done, I might just go ahead and start saving for those now, just a little bit at a time. And then when I'm ready around mid year to really get more aggressive on these, then maybe I move them to high priority and we work work it that way, or I do savings challenges to beef this up. So I do need the fence rent renovation and the land clearing. Well, I thought about that and I'm like, okay, well, you're gonna clear the land. You know, you gotta worry about taxes too. So um, the taxes have been paid on it the last couple of years from my dad's estate, but we are finalizing all of that this year. Things are looking good to have that complete, which means pretty much come 2025, the beginning of 2025, I'm going to need to start to cover the land taxes myself. Electronics, if I wanted to get a new Apple Pencil, if I wanted to get a cell phone, etc. Again, there are things that I might that might come up that I need, but they're not a high priority. It's not something that I absolutely have to do in the next two months or three months. Um, I want to get a passport. I want to start to travel in 2025 after Corinne graduates from high school. Um, concerts and plays. Again, that'll be a part of the event package. You know, passport and some play money. All of that works. Um, I do want to go ahead and start a giveaways um, low priority binder or envelope so that when I reach 500 uh, subscribers, and I know I will, um, I'll be able to offer a particular giveaway, subscriber giveaway for that. Um, and I want to make over my bedroom. So I've lived in my house since 2017 and I don't do anything around decorating. That's just not me. I don't even have curtains up to the windows, y'all. I just... I have those um, plantation blinds and I love them. And I thought they're pretty enough. That, that should be good. So I want to start making over all of the different rooms and I want to start with my bedroom first. And then Jim's business. So I've always contributed like $5. I used to have it up here, but I don't consider that as I was evaluating. I don't consider that to be a high priority. So I'm just moving Jim's business down to my low priority. And then these are family savings binder amounts that I already had. So not that part. So it's just this pit part now that is different and that is new. So yes, I now have high priority and I have low priority. Okay. Let us see what that amount, those amounts are. So that is 40, 40, 30, 110, and 40. It's $260. Alrighty, so when you look at the totals, my income is 1935 minus 260 for savings, minus 500 for living expenses, and then minus 1144 for bills and subscriptions. So that would give me, oh Lord, please let me be under budget. This tight, $31. Alrighty, so it looks like I am still under budget by $31. That was an ugly 31. And if that's the case, great, because I will roll that over into the next paycheck. But we shall see how that ends up. Let's color that green. And there you go. Alrighty, that is my budget for February the 23rd paycheck. Thanks everybody for your time. You guys have a good one.